The long wait is finally over and the battle lines have been drawn and it will be Manchester City going against Arsenal at Etihad Stadium. Remember, this is the 2024 2025 season in the English Premier League and so far Manchester City is part at the helm of the summit of the English Premier League log 2024 2025 season and is closely followed by Arsenal which is currently on that second position. Both of the teams have managed to play a total of four matches so far. Manchester City going all the way and winning all their fixtures in that period of time and Arsenal have also played the same number of matches going ahead winning three of the matches and drawing one of the match. Well last weekend we saw that Arsenal managed to put off Tottenham in a London derby by a one goal which was scored by their defender Gabriel Magalis and on the other side we saw that it was not an easy out for Manchester City after winning a hard fought to one against Brantford and it was Erling Haaland who managed to score the two goals that gave Manchester City that crucial win. Well, this is when we see that Haaland has managed to score in all the matches that he has played so far for season 2025, 2024, 2025 rather and of course he's the top scorer at the moment well it's going to be a very interesting match pitting manchester city and of course arsenal remember that both tactician both worked at manchester city at one time and in that period of time michael ateta was under Pep Guardiola at Manchester City before moving to Arsenal a few seasons ago and so far it has been a very good period of time for Mikel Arteta since taking the reins of Arsenal came in, coming twice close to winning that English Premier League title which has eluded Arsenal now for a number of years. Well this is going to be a very interesting match which will take place at Etihad Stadium. So remember in the last nine matches Manchester City have had an upper hand against Arsenal winning seven times and drawing one time and also in that period of time they've also lost only one match and it was in last season. So remember this is going to be a very hard match for both tacticians because tactically they know one another so it's going to be a very difficult match to both sides and it's going to be very interesting to see which time it's going to come out victors in this match and going all the way and getting the three points. Of course uh, Mikel Ateta will be setting his team in a more defensive role, according to me, remember that they are missing a very creative player in the name of Martin Odegaard, the skipper who got injured during the international break. So Arsenal, if you look keenly the way they played against Tottenham in the London derby, Ateta went for a more defensive approach and he had to switch his tactics and he had to accommodate the likes of Trossard, who is not a uh, uh, out and out number 10 and feeling that the, uh, that Odegaard shoe I think is not going to be an easy task for Mikel Ateta. Well on the other side Pep Guardiola will be trying also to go and win this match to maintain his 100% winning record for season 2024-2025. But the bad news for Manchester City, the news coming in is just that Kevin De Bruyne, their skipper, got injured uh, in the match that they played against Inter Milan in the Champions League. Remember the match ended in a stalemate of 0-0. Zero, zero. So Pep Guardiola will be given something to ponder about missing one of the most cre creative players in the name of Kevin De Bruyne. Remember that Kevin De Bruyne is one of the most creative players that EPL has just witnessed in recent years. So it's going to be a big blow for Manchester City to be without Kevin De Bruyne. But if past fit to play this match, I think that is going to play. But Pep Guardiola also have options and may opt to go 
for the experience of Ilke Gundogan who is making a comeback into this Manchester City after spending a season away in Barcelona. Well, I think that Declan Rice will be also making his comeback after missing out one match after he was shown a red card in the match that they played against Brighton. Remember that match ended in a stalemate of 1-1 one, one and Arsenal had to play the bigger chunk of, of the rest of the second half after uh, Declan Rice was given the marching orders in that match. Now let's go and look at the formations that these teams are going to take coming this match and we've known Arsenal for taking a 4-5-1 with two sitting midfielders and of course uh, th uh, three attacking ones and of course one at the tip of that attack and Manchester City have been renowned for using a 4-3-3 which has been very fluid over the seasons and I think that Pep Guardiola is going to stick his gun to the, pos to the formation that have been giving him the results so far. So Arsenal is going to use four defenders and um, of course Raya will be in between the sticks then the will be uh, the evergreen Saliba in the heart of that defense being helped and marshaled by the Brazilian in the name of Gabriel, Ma uh, Gabriel Magalis and on the left side I think is going to opt for Ben White and of course there is Juren Timber who had a very solid match against Spurs in the London Derby. Well, those are the defenders that are going to be playing in front of Raya to try to prevent those goals from coming in. Well, in the midfield, he's going to use two sitting midfielders in the name of, uh, of course, Declan Rice who is making a comeback and Thomas Party and well on, on the flanks he may opt to go for the very pacey Bukayo Saka and of course Gabriel Martinelli on the other side of the flank and of course Trossa just behind uh, Kai Howard at the tip of that attack. So that is the first 11 that I'm predicting is going to start for Arsenal coming to this match. And of course, let's go and look for Manchester City. And of course, in between the posts, they may opt to go for Ederson. Then in that defence line, they are going to go with Ruben Diaz, uh, Gavidiol, and of course... Kyle Walker and of course Akanji so that is the uh, back line for Manchester City and of course in that midfield they are going to have Rodri who is making a comeback after the Euros competition and he is going to be helped either by Bernardo Silvio Grealish and of course there is Kovacic and at the tip of that attack there's going to be the very dangerous hurling proud Haaland that will be doing service for Manchester City in that attack when they manage to play Arsenal. So expect a lot of attitude type of football, free-flowing attack kind of football from both uh, tacticians who are known to play a very attractive kind of football, Pep Guardiola Tiki Taka kind of football and of course his uh, partner Mikel Ateta will be trying also to prove a point coming into this match. Now let's go and look at, at the last time that these teams managed to play head to head and the biggest score that Manchester City has uh, registered against Arsenal was in 2021-2022 seasons when Manchester City won by a managed a margin of five goals to nail that was a very big win for Pep Guardiola against Arsenal and of course the year 2022-2023 season Manchester City also managed to win by a margin of four one against Arsenal so uh, uh, Mikel Ateta will be up to try and prevent this from happening again uh, this uh, season now let's go and look at the two short stoppers that is for Manchester City and for Arsenal we've seen that Ederson has been having a very good season so far for Manchester City and one of his major strengths is that he's a very good sweeper of the ball and very comfortable with 
his feet and severally he has been able to set Erling Haaland with assist. Uh, when we will ask how a goalkeeper can give an assist well if a keeper is very good on his feet then I think he has a very good advantage of playing from the back and also building from the backs and he can also spray those passes across the field to try and find the likes of Savinho, Grealish and of course Braut, Haaland and of course Arsenal also have a very capable keeper in the name of Raya. Remember that Raya has just managed to make his permanent loan deal to Arsenal to a permanent one. I remember that last season he was on loan from Brentford and Ateta managed to snap him up for Arsenal this season. Raya is very comfortable also with the ball on his feet and he can also spray those long and short passes to the likes of Bukayo Saka, Martinelli and of course Kai Havert who are the players who Ateta is depending on to try and get the goals for of course Arsenal. So it's going to be a very a big push and pull in that middle of the park and the likes of Thomas Partey will be up against uh, the likes of Rodrigo who is making a comeback into that Manchester City set up after missing a few games of 2024-2025 season and well in the match that Arsenal played against of course uh, Tottenham in the London derby they really missed the physicality and the presence of Declan Rice. Uh, Rice will be eligible once again to play for Arsenal after serving his one match ban after he was shown a record. So I think that Arsenal will have strength in that midfield but my major concern will be in that a creativity room in the number 10 role that I think Odegaard has been a very big miss for Arsenal since he went out injured and this has led to Mikel Arteta to try and tweak his tactics and his formation a bit to try and accommodate players who can also perform in that role that the skipper Odegaard has been doing for Arsenal over the year. So it's going to be a very free-flowing kind of football for both teams trying to go and get that crucial win which will be a very good morale booster as now the season 2024-2025 is starting to gain momentum. So this is a game that one should not miss and I think that you should also give me your views and prediction on which team you think is going to carry the day between of course Manchester City and Arsenal because these are two teams that have been competing at the very highest level for some time now in the English Premier League. So Mikel Ateta is going also to try and prove a point to his manager that is Pep Guardiola of course and remember over the years we've seen a transfer of um, several players from Manchester City moving to Arsenal of course of the likes of Zichenko. Gabriel Jesus also has managed to cross over to of course Arsenal. Now there is also Raheem Sterling who is expected to make his a second debut for Arsenal when they managed to play Manchester City. Remember that uh, Sterling was once under Pep Guardiola and Manchester City before moving to Chelsea and finally is putting the red colours that is for Arsenal and I think if given a chance Sterling may try to prove a point to Pep Guardiola and Manchester City that he still has something to give to his Arsenal side. So feel free also to give me your thoughts and and also engage me on the team that you think is likely to carry the day in this match. So I think that the team that is going to settle faster and uh, is going to have a good game moving forward and we've known that Pep Guardiola likes uh, keeping a lot of possession and giving those short passes long and short passes trying to spray those balls to the flanks and sometimes maybe trying to overload one side of the pitch then if the players are not really keen then they can be really 
uh, be out of possession because at the moment their concentration will be on one side of the field and Mikel Ateta, uh, Pep Guardiola rather has uh, mastered the art of doing that to so many teams as we've witnessed this season round. So Mikel Ateta will also be on the lookout not to get exposed too much but at the moment the best defensive partnership it has to be that of Saliba and of course Magales at the heart of that Arsenal defense. Well, I've been your able host Molo Collins. Let's do this again next time. And of course, it's a big one beating Arsenal and Manchester City, a match which will be played at Etihad Stadium. Remember, this is the first leg of the English Premier League season. 2024 2025 as for my prediction i think that this is a match that is going to have over 2.5 goals and i think it's going to be a game that will have a lot of goals coming into this match well let's do this again next time when we do meet i've been able host molo collins as for me and the rest of my crew it's bye bye for now